Hi guys, this is Zahir Anwari, co-founder of Sublime Trading, here with your daily update for the UK and US indices for Tuesday the 14th of April. If you're new to these daily updates, then I recommend starting with the recording that's pinned to the top of our Facebook page, so you get a good understanding of what I go through in these updates. Okay, so starting with the FTSE 100 for the UK stock market, this is our three screen setup. We have the monthly in the top left, weekly in the top right and our daily chart here. Uh, with On the monthly for the FTSE 100, we can see April still looking bullish, finding support at the low of February 2016. If you move across to the weekly time frame, price is below the 200 moving average and the 50 simple moving average. Price is currently going through this pullback from this uh, recent decline in the market based on COVID-19. And if you come down to the daily time frame, we can see that today being the first trading day of the week, yesterday was a bank holiday for Easter. It's a very slow start to the week. Now, of course, this could look very different by the end of the day. It's the end of day candlestick that we're interested in. Currently, very little in the form of price action. What we could potentially be seeing is a bit of a stall before a continuation towards the 50 simple moving average or uh, a slowdown in this pullback and price finding resistance and a move back to the downside. We really want to see price make a move, either want to see momentum coming in or we want to start seeing support levels cleared, particularly the low of March, which will suggest a continuation of the bear trend. Okay, let's move across to the US indices, starting with the Dow Jones. Now on the monthly time frame, we can see April is looking bullish. Price is trading above the low of last year, which is significant. This is an early sign that we could be potentially seeing strength back to the high of last year. Now, if you move across to the weekly time frame, we can see that uh, price is now trading above the 200 moving average. Of course, it's only Tuesday and we want to see how the week ends. But if price closes above the 200 moving average, then again, strong sign of bullishness coming in. And then the next area of resistance will be the 50 simple moving average. If we come down to the daily time frame, we can see price above the 20 simple moving average. The next area of resistance is the 50 simple moving average. If that's cleared, then we have the 200 simple moving average. So if these areas of resistance, these moving averages are cleared, then again, strong sign that we are in bullish territory. Moving across to the S&P 500, we can see the S&P 500 found support at the low of last year, and we've had a good bounce to the upside so far in April. Now on the weekly time frame, prices last week had already closed above the 200 simple moving average, so a very strong sign of bullishness. And we can see that momentum is now coming in in this week, so that bullishness is continuing potentially towards that 3,000 round number. And if we come down to the daily time frame, we can see that the bullishness is continuing. We've had a gap up at the start of today, gap up, continuation. The 50 simple moving average is acting as immediate resistance. If that's cleared, then we have the 200 simple moving average under 3000 round number. So if these areas of resistance are cleared, then again, a strong sign of bullishness towards that all time high. Moving across to the NASDAQ, starting with the monthly, we can see the NASDAQ is looking bullish. We can see how close is it, how close price is towards that all time high. Excuse me, we can see how close price is towards the high of last year. Now, if that's cleared, then price will move towards the all time high. So the high of 2019 is acting as immediate resistance. If we move across to the weekly time frame, price failed to break through the 200 simple moving average. Instead, it acted as an area of support. We've seen bullishness since then. Last week was bullish and that momentum has continued so far this week. So very much bullish so far this week. And if we come down to the daily time frame, significant moves happening here. We can see that price was already above the 200 moving average. We had bullishness yesterday and a gap up through the 50 simple moving average at the start of play today and that bullishness has continued. So now it's interesting to see whether we will see strength back to the all time high or whether price will reverse, fill this gap and potentially even start moving back towards the low of March. Overall though, looking across all the indices, we are seeing bullishness and early signs that we could be seeing a recovery in the market and moves back towards the all time high. So if we start seeing moving averages, particularly the 250 simple moving averages cleared and areas of, uh, and being confirmed as areas of support across all the indices, then we're very much in bullish territory. So a little bit of patience needed for now. 
so we don't get caught up in fake uh, in these fake bullish moves and a reversal back to the downside we need the market to dictate a clear direction that's me for today guys please like comment and share let's get the message out there let's get people building good portfolios and removing all the uncertainty and fear and the FOMO decisions that a lot of people make and let's get uh, the education out there the knowledge out there on how to make money from the financial markets and I will see you on tomorrow's recording.